I'll look it up. But matter of fact, just go on, yeah, find whatever. Go on booking and then find something that's yeah. decent, like downtown in that same place. Uh, my cannabis looms. How did you manage in this miracle to win uh, with Amazon after all the big uh, unions uh, failed? Well, we won because no amount of money in the world uh, can calculate the power of people when they come together. And we prove that workers coming together, uh, showing that they love and care for one another day in and day out for over 300 plus days, um, that resonated more than any anti-union propaganda that Amazon could have presented to the workers. And with that type of solidarity, uh, you know, that's all it takes at the end of the day. There's no calculation with that. You know, love and solidarity and being available for the workers is the best way to bring people together. This was an important battle won, but the, the war is still still going on. What, what are your next battles well yeah we take our small victories and we definitely uh have celebratory moments but at the same time we know that it's a long battle we know that it's a marathon not a sprint and we continue to organize that's all we can do as organizers we're here every day 24 7 never a dull moment um never taking days off just always just pushing the message forward and uh, really trying to get more people involved as far as our community support and, um, you know, just really launching in other buildings to apply more pressure to Amazon to come to the table is where we're standing. If you had Jeff Bezos in front of you right now, what would you tell him? Come to the table. That's it. You know, that's the main thing that we're focusing on is our contract. And we have a unionized building in American history, the first one. It's time for him to come sit down with JFK workers and negotiate a contract. That's all we care about is the workers at the end of the day, and he needs to do the right thing if Amazon is such a good company. Recently, uh, a worker died in a warehouse, and, and the other workers had to continue as if nothing happened. What did you think by getting to know that? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all because Amazon is about putting profits above, above people. We saw that with COVID, another life or death situation. I know people who have died. I know people who have been injured in warehouses. I know people um, that have reached out that said they lost loved ones. We saw tragedies before with Amazon with the tornado. Um, list goes on and on about people dying. Unfortunately, it's rare that people hear these stories but this, th these type of things happen all the time. So I'm not surprised that Amazon didn't stop their operation while a worker was deceased on the floor because they're used to it. You know, they'll do any and everything to make sure that their customer is receiving that product because that's what the company was built on, customer obsession. Last question. And, and what did you think about the fact that Bezos himself thanked all the Amazon customers and the Amazon workers after he ended a, a space trip which costed five billion dollars. I mean, how would you have spent that money <laughs> differently? Well, you know, while he was up there, I said it plenty of times that we were outside organizing for our union and, and that's what we have to remind him is that he can play in space. You know, we're going to organize on the ground and when he come back down, there's going to be a union waiting for him. He has to respond to labor. And, um, you know, everybody should be upset. The fact that he spent $10, mil $10 billion of our tax dollars to go to space. It wasn't the AOU's money. It wasn't union dues. It was taxpayers' dollars that were given to the richest man at one point in the world. And that's what we all should be upset about. It's not just... The fact that it's the ALU's job to save everybody is the fact that everybody's a part of the working class as a worker. And as a worker, the right thing to do is support the working class and the workers that are organizing. And that goes all the way up um, to the presidency as well.